Hello fellow minions of technology, my name is Tim Lee. Welcome to Legacy Studio. I have heard rumor through my channel's comments and a few people mentioning that there is a new update for the Sony a6300. Uh, and I, since my video of updating the a6000 and a6300 were so popular, why not go ahead and do another one and see what the latest update is about? Uh, I have not done any research uh, about this as of yet, so I'm going to do this all here and hopefully I can edit it into something that makes some sort of sense. So let's go ahead and start with Sony A6300 firmware. Okay, and here we go support for the ILCE6300. Let's go ahead and click that. Let's go ahead and look for our update that's been done on 2-1-2018. So it's an older one here, but let's go ahead and click on this. <clears throat> uh, this update version 2.01 provides the following benefits. Add support for SEL 18-135 lens, improves overall stability of the camera. Uh, I would like to know when this release actually came out because I feel that's an old date. That is old tech. So something is a little confusing there because I had heard rumor that a brand new one had come out. Just for giggles. Just for giggles. Let's do this really quick. Let's go Sony A6000 firmware update. And let's see what the latest 6000 firmware update is. Let's go for Windows. Ah, version 3.21. That is the latest release. Uh, it improves stability of the AF operation. I had heard rumor about this, that this was an update specifically to help with um, to help with autofocus. So I definitely want to download this for my two Sony A6000s. I'm actually using one of them right now to film this. So uh, let me go ahead and download this first. And once I've downloaded it, then uh, we'll figure out how to switch cameras and do that. We might have to switch over to the GoPro uh, temporarily to do this. So we'll go ahead and download this, 188 megabytes, and uh, we'll be back in just a minute. All right, so we've downloaded the update for the Sony A6000. Let's go ahead and find my little cables that I need. We'll go ahead and update one of them, and then I'll uh, take the other one down and update that one as well. Go ahead and install the user system first. So now we need to connect the camera to the computer. Let's check to make sure we got a battery in there. We do. I don't think I need a memory card in this case. So we'll go ahead and plug this in via the USB. There we go. All right, so our camera is set to mass storage. I got a really bad cable here, so I got to just keep it kind of like tucked exactly how it needs to be here to work. All right, I think we're good to go. So let's hit next. Verifying the connection to the camera to the computer. Please wait. All right, checking to version. We're gonna hit next. Uh, so current version is 320. The new version is 3.21. So we'll go ahead and prepare the update and reset the camera. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna reset the device. I'm gonna hit okay. There we go. And now the waiting game begins. Doing these updates are so easy. I, I really do love how simple it is to do these updates. All right, we are running the update now. It's gonna take a while, but it is really simple to do. I mean, that's the nice thing. Uh, it's not putting in, um, it's not putting in memory cards. It's not accidentally freezing something up. Everything is done through their updater. It's a breeze. So definitely the way to go. <clears throat> All right, camera just came back to life. Went right back into storage mode, but I think we're updated, folks. Let's find out. No memory card, that's fine. We're gonna go into the menu. And we're going to go into settings and version. And there we go. 3.21 is now officially updated on that camera. So now I got to do it on the camera. Whoops. I got to do it on the big camera. And this will be 
all updated to the latest version. You should get it. It really is that simple. Unfortunately, it's yet another incredibly easy video because it's the easiest updating process I've ever done to anything. And I've done some really stupid firmware updates. Try updating a DIY 3D printer. Oh, freaky stuff. Very freaky stuff. Or half the drones that I have behind me here. All nightmares. Every single time. So yeah, this is the nice thing. It's simple, it's sweet, it's to the point, and it's the most boring video I'll ever create. So just go update your cameras, hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment, and I guess that's about it. I'm gonna update the second camera and the, the, the deed is done.